Hey, welcome, Ricardo. Nice to see you, man. How's everything? Hello. How was your weekend, man? Mm. Was good. Always is a little tired, but always a little what? It's a little. It's it's short. It's the, the weekend is short from. Oh yeah, yeah. The weekend is short. You're right. Hey, um, I think you finished the platform, right? Yes. All right. Did you get um? Did you get a score? Did you get a score above eighty eighty percent? One hundred percent. One hundred. Nice man, nice. So it's expected um, for everybody to come late today, just because it's the last day. And usually, when we have a small group. It happens, you know. I have no idea why. <laughs> Anyways, man. So what do you do school. over the weekend? Um, work. I was working in Sunday and Saturday. Wow, so you didn't rest at all? Or or do you, do you rest during the week? I don't have a, a, day, for, a day for rest. I work when when it's necessary. Oh, so you're like a freelancer. Yeah. So I don't have a free time. You have especially you don't have specific days off, you mean? Yes, I don't have a specific day for rest. For resting. Resting. Okay. That's well that's that's cool. Man. I mean, do you like it that way? No, I trying to to change my job, but it's difficult because I am a, I don't know engineering and the career is not uh, don't have a lot of offers for my career. There isn't a lot of offers for your career. So you're are you an engineer or you're studying to become an engineer? No, I am an engineer. Oh, you're an engineer in what? I forgot. Sorry? You're an engineer in what? I, I forgot. Uh, agronomic engineering. I'm sorry, oh. I can't tell the, the last. Yeah, no, I was asking you that. Um, I was asking you what you were an engineer of. And you said that you're a agricultural engineer, right? Agro okay. Agronomic engineer. Yeah, you're an agriculture an agricultural an agricultural engineer. That's how you call it. Agricultural uh, engineer. <laughs> that is the pronunciation. Yes. That is the pronunciation. Agricultural engineering. Yes, agric agricultural engineering, yes. David. Okay. Yes, yeah, sir. David, what's up, David? How was your weekend, man? Good evening. Um, relaxed. Relaxed. Nice. Yes. Nice. You got some rest? <clears throat> yes, a little. Only uh, Sunday because in Saturday I had an uh, appointment. Oh, you had an appointment? Yes. Dental okay. appointment. A dental appointment? Uh-huh. That's cool, man. What did you, what do you have? What, what was the appointment for? Um, I, uh, I need um, rellenos. <laughs> okay. I think those are called fillers, but I'm not sure. I mean, that's fillers. literally translated, yes. Okay. Right. Anyways, that's great, man. All right, guys, so let's get started, okay? Um, I think every, I mean, we, we, I got more people confirmed that I think that they're coming late. There you go. Maria just joined. How are you, Maria? There you go, guys. So you guys, uh, David, did you finish the platform? Uh, yes. All right. Hello, teacher. Yes, I finished. All right. Hello, Maria. How are you? Fine, and you? Great. How was your weekend? Good. <laughs> Good? 
Yes. <laughs> did you travel? Yes. You did. Where did you go? What Guatemala City. Oh, you went to Guatemala for two days? Um, let me see. Three days. Three days. Nice. Mm -hmm. Did you like it? Yes. You did? Nice. What what uh, what place did you go to? Um, um the city, the, the only the city. Okay, you spend your time, you spend your time all in the city. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Right. Very good, guys. So, all right. So let's get started, guys. Uh, welcome. All right. Nice seeing you here, guys, in our last day. I hope, uh, Maria, did you finish the platform? Yes. Nice. Giovanni, welcome, Giovanni. Have you finished the platform? Hi. Yes. Yes. Great. I think. Thank you. Rafael, welcome, Rafael. How are you? Did you finish no. the platform, Rafa? Yes. All right. Great. Hilda, nice to see you, Hilda. How are you? Everything good? Hilda? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Um, Hilda, I, was, uh, um, I had a question for you. Have you finished the platform? Yes, but in the last exercise, the, the final exam, it, uh, I can, I, I, I didn't because the platform platform mm -hmm. uh, don't have the the paragraph the platform the platform doesn't have absolutely uh, absolutely uh, i the paragraph uh, uh, the paragraph uh, actually the le pregunté i i asked i asked i asked uh, -huh. uh, uh you but i don't have the answer Okay. Oh yeah, I, I asked you to contact uh, TechSport, but you should uh, you should try another computer or just a different browser. Intenta con otro browser, otra computadora. Right. Oh, okay. Okay. Another device. Okay. Only only the the exercise. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. All okay. right. Very good. All right. Very good, guys. So um so today, guys, we're gonna talk about model perfect continuous. Okay. So take a look at the example, guys. All right. Let's read the first example. Giovanni, could you please help me read, Giovanni? Okay. The model perfect continues for the speculation about a continuous action in the past. We can use the model, the model perfect continuous stance. Okay, very good. Let me ask you something, guys. Okay, all right. This person right here, all right, in grammar, we call this Okay, what do we call it, guys? ¿Cómo llamamos este sujeto en gramática, guys? <laughs> Típico salvadoreño metido, right? Nosy, right? We're going to call nosy, guys, en metido, okay? Nosy comes from nose, okay? Nosy, mete la nariz donde no te importa, nosy, okay? So this is the typical nosy salvadorian, right? And what is he doing here, guys? Does he know what happened? ¿Sabe él exactamente lo que ocurrió? Yes or no? No. No. no, he doesn't, right? So he's chambrating. And chambrating, guys, okay, we that word doesn't exist in English again. I'm just kidding, all right? We call that a, spec, a, a speculation. How do we call that? Speculation. Very good, okay. So we can speculate about a, about a what? About a continuous action. action. In the past, guys, okay? So this is where the model perfect continuous comes into play. Aquí es donde entra el model perfect continuous, okay? All right? Para hablar, to talk about a continuous action, a continuous speculation in the past. Para hablar acerca de una especulación en el pasado. Got it? However, a continuous speculation, right? It's a continuous speculation here. Now, what happened here, guys? Okay, look at Pasuki. What what do you see here? An accident. Accident. Okay, yeah, a car accident, right? Okay. Now, what is he speculating? Okay, he thinks. He thinks. Why? What? What does he think happened here? Okay, cree el que pasó aquí. 
maybe the driver are drunk. Okay, so he thinks that's right, right? Uh -huh. So he thinks, guys, okay, he thinks, right, according to his speculation, right, that he was drunk, right? El piensa que él estaba bolo. Yes? All right? Very good, guys. Very good. Okay. Now, he doesn't know, guys. Okay? Now, notice, guys, what model the person, right, the Salvadorian guy is using here. He's assuming that because he sees a... What is that, guys? A perfect continue? No. Well, what is this thing down here? What is this thing uh, on the floor? Ah, uh, 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 um, coke. Uh, a glass. Okay, it's a, it's a, it's a glass of. That, okay, that's a glass of what? Alcohol. All right, that that's a glass with probably a, al alcohol, right? So here, guys, the structure, right? He plus model plus have plus bin, guys. Okay, bin is always gonna be here plus ing. Okay. He might have been drinking and driving. See? All right. Now we're using we're using both guys. We're combining them here, okay? So, <clears throat> all right. So far so good, guys. Entendemos. Para que se, se, se usa el model perfect continuous? Yes? All right. Very good. Fácil. Tenés un model, right? You have a model. You have half, okay? And nothing else, guys, okay? You have to have the subject, right? Plus might. Plus have plus been plus ing, okay? Subject plus have plus been plus ing, right? Present participle, yes? All right, so then, okay, you have the present participle, then el presente participio, guys, right? The ing form to identify or to actually to point out that there was an action, a continuous action in the past. Para, para, para enfatizar, guys, de que había una acción continua en el pasado. Does it make sense? Yes? All right, very good. Let's take a look at more examples here, okay? All right. So, uh, who would like to help me read this, guys? Give me ayuda. Quickly, 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 all right? Who would like to help me read this? Me. Go ahead. They don't know why they crashes the car, but I've heard that he may have been drinking and driving. Very good. Okay, repeat it. All right, he crashed the car. Crashed the car. Okay, very good. Now, guys, within this sentence, guys, dentro de esta oración, who can tell me where I have, uh, where, where I have a model Perfect continuous. Donde tengo un model perfect continuous. Been drinking? He may, he may. He may have, have been, been drinking, drinking and driving, right? Now, okay, so this is the continuous action in that past, guys, okay? He's saying, he's saying, you know, él puede haber estado um, bebiendo y conduciendo, got it? Okay, now do me a favor, guys, okay, everybody. All right, todo mundo, guys, todo mundo, okay? Send me, all right, what you think might have happened here. Dígame qué creen que pudo haber pasado aquí, all right? If you take a look up here, guys, si ven, si ven aquí arriba, all right? Aquí está, um, aquí está el, el, la estructura, right? So you got the structure up here, okay? So using the structure, guys, send me, all right, what you think might have happened to the guy, okay? Everybody send me one example in the, in the, in the, in the, in the chat, okay? All right, let's be the nosy Salvadorian, guys. All right, so uh, let's go down here. Um, back here, I'm sorry. All right, so the structure, guys, remember, subject. So, oops, hold on. So the, the structure is going to be subject plus what, guys? Subject plus? Have. Have plus? Mean. Wait, 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 wait. Subject plus have. Subject plus model, Hi. past model, guys, okay? Subject plus past model plus bin plus present participle, right? Or ing form, okay? So this is the structure, guys. Send it to me, guys, okay? Give me your examples. Meanwhile, I'm going to ask, okay? Todo mundo, guys, envíeme su ejemplo en el chat, all right? Meanwhile, I'm going to ask everybody. Ricardo, all right? Give me one example. What do you think might have happened here? ¿Qué pensas que pudo haber pasado aquí?
he he made uh, have been asked with a trick. He may have been what? Have been crashing with a tree. He may have been crashing with a tree, okay? Now, let me ask you something, guys. Why can I not say he may have been crashing with a tree? Por qué no puedo decir he may have been crashing with a tree? Por qué no puedo decir esto, guys? Because it's a, a suggestion, no? No, that's not the answer. Why can I not say this? Question is in, in uh, how can I say uh, only an action in the past. Exactly, guys. You can't you can't say crashing with a, a present participle like here, like this. Okay, you can use this, you can use it as a gerund, but you cannot use it as a present participle. The reason why, guys. It's because crash is a verb that cannot happen continuously, right? Got it? Like you crash once and then you know you crash once, that's once, that's it, right? It's not a continuous action. No, una acción que se puede continuar, right? No puede decir el carro se estaba chocando. Got it? Because te chocas una vez y yeah, right? Okay, so uh so let's let's have another example, Ricardo, right? Enviame tu ejemplo en el, en el chat, all right? And then we're going to work with that. Okay, Maria, let's go. Give me uh, give me your example, Maria. Um, he might have been talking with wife. With okay, his. he might have been talking with his wife. With his wife. Okay, good job. Okay, this is a good example. Good job. Uh, Giovanni, give me your example. Okay. He might he might have been fighting with a drunk girl. He might have been fighting with a drunk girl. Good job, all right? I like that. Now, instead of you could say uh, arguing, right? Because they might not have been like physical with a drunk girl. But let's let's go with it for this, okay? Um, David, let's go, David. Uh, he could have been watching. He's helpful and drinking while he was driving. He could have been what? Washing. Washing his cell phone. Washing. Lavando el celular. Watching. Watching. Okay. Watching his cell phone. His cell phone and drinking. And drinking. While he was driving. While he was driving. Okay. Good job, man. All right. I like that was very, that was a very complex example. I like that. Okay. Very good. Uh, Rafael, all right, let's have your example, Rafa. He may, he may have been sleeping. He may have been sleeping, okay. Very good, okay, I like this. Uh, Hilda, let's go, Hilda. Okay, teacher. Uh, he may have had a being a a heart attack. Now he instead of he, we're gonna say he. So I'm sorry. Could you could you please repeat that? He may uh, have a. Uh, he may have a had been. May a heart, have a had been like this. Yes, a heart attack. He was driving. Heart attack. He was driving like this. A uh, a heart a attack. No, no you, okay. Remember no that you need, you, need, you need to follow the structure. Okay, necesita necesita seguir la estructura. All right. What structure do we have, guys? What is what structure do you have? Subject and model. Okay, so the subject. All right, let's use Cheyenne. Right, Cheyenne. All right. Okay. That, that was Cheyenne's car. Got the model is mine. Okay, might, uh huh. Have been. I have been. Good job. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh, but I don't know how do you say. Uh, tuvo un ataque al corazón. I had. He might have. Okay, no. He might have. Um, been having a heart uh, attack. Attack. Okay. He was driving. 
Okay, well, while he was driving. Okay, you can say this, okay? He might have had, he might have been having a heart attack while he was driving, okay? All right, this is good, okay? So this is how you, how, this is how you say that, okay? Good job. Um, let's see, Ingrid. Hello, Ingrid. All right, let's have your example, Ingrid. Uh, he might have been driving so fast. Very fast, okay? He might have been driving very fast. Okay, all right, very good. Uh, Rodrigo, let's have your example, Rodrigo. Uh, he might have been texting his phone. Texting on his phone, okay, good job. There is a movie about that. Have you watched it? It's called Seven Pounds. Se llama Siete Libras. You should. It's good. Uh, Tatiana, let's go, Tatiana. He may, he may have been arguing. Arguing, okay, arguing. Uh, arguing. Arguing, uh huh. He may have been arguing with what? With no. his girlfriend. Okay, All right. Let's let's just. Okay, very good. Uh, Jose Chicas, give me your example, Jose. No, Jose. Okay, Ricardo, right? give me your example now. He could have been preparing a glass of wine. Okay, he could have been preparing. You can also contract it, guys. Okay. He could have been preparing, all right, uh, a glass of wine. Good job, man, all right? Good job, everybody, plus for you guys. Well done, all right? You got it, okay? Oh, Jesus, this freaking camera, hold on. Not the camera, you know what? It's the PC, guys. <laughs> I have no idea what happened there, okay? Very good, guys, so questions. Any questions so far, guys? Back in the background. All right, great. So, um, so anyways then, okay. All right. So now how do we make negative sentences? After this, we're going to practice, guys, okay? Uh, let's just uh, quickly go over this. So how do we make negative sentences? Now, it's simple, guys. After the model, guys, is where you have to position the particle not, okay? Where do you place the not particle, guys? <laughs> After the model, right? So let's take a look at the first example. Giovanni, help me read the first example. Um, <clears throat> quinoa is a food that you might not have heard of. All right. So quinoa is a food that you might have not heard of. Okay. So, uh, so take a look at these guys. Okay. So after the model. Okay. Just right after the model. Um, all right, so for example, guys, if I want to use, you know, the particle not after the model, I can say, let's see, uh, you know what, David, give me the name of your crush. Let's think about your crush. Uh, Dua Lipa. Oh, Dua Lipa too? Uh -huh. <laughs> Dua Lipa, all right. Dua Lipa now, give me a model. A might. Okay, might, right? Now we need have, right? Now, remember guys, if there, there is an exception here, okay? So if we say Dua Lipa might, might have not or might not have, guys? Not have. Not have. Might have. not have, okay? So it goes, guys, okay? So we say Dua Lipa might not, might not have, is this correct? Yes. Yes, we can say might not have, okay? Might not have, but these guys, is this an action verb or is this an auxiliary? Auxiliary. It's an auxiliary, guys, okay? Dua Lipa might not have. So what do we need, guys, if I have the auxiliary have? En todo, guys, en todos, en to, absolutamente todos los, los, los tiempos gramaticales, guys, si vos usas have, tenés que usar what, what tense of the verb, what, what tense of, uh, what form of the verb, guys, qué forma del verbo tenés que usar. 
past participle. Okay, you have to use guys past participle, okay? So might not have seen me, okay? Dualipa might not have seen me. See? So every time, guys, that you use a, a model, you're gonna place it after the model, okay? I, I'm sorry, every time they use a, a, the particle not, cuando se la particula not, tenés que posicionarle después de moral, de, del model, okay? Yes? And that's about it, guys, all right? Very good. All right, so moving on, guys. I don't know why I closed that. So moving on, guys, okay? Uh, <clears throat> This is also helpful if you want to ask people politely, okay? Si, te, si quieres preguntarle, I, um, I don't know, if you want to ask a girl out, right? Si, si le vas a decir a una chica que quiere salir con ella, ¿cómo se lo decís? ¿Se lo decís así todo rudo o le decís y con, con escuela? Todo bonito. How do you ask for it, guys? <laughs> With school, right? <laughs> you ask politely, yes? Yes, right? So why you ask politely, right? Like, ahí no es ni malas palabras, right? You didn't even curse there, right? So here, guys, okay, this is a model that you can use. I mean, this is, you know, this is something that you can use to ask for things politely, right? Para pedir cosas de una forma bien polite, de una forma bien educada, okay? So uh, let's see, Maria, help me read. Over here. Uh, if you want to, this, if you want to politely ask somebody as you speculate about what may have happened, mm -hmm. you use, do you think you may, might have plus past possible? Very good, guys. Write this down right now in your notebook. Todo mundo, Jose Chicas, Tatiana Rodrigo, right? Everybody with the camera is turned off. Write this down in your notebook right now. Do you think, do you think you, okay? Do you think you plus my, I need you to write down the structure, guys, because we're going to practice right now, okay? You're going to learn how to ask for things politely by saying, do you think you, okay? How do we say it, guys? Everybody, do you think you? Thank do you, you think you? Okay, do you think you, okay, do you think you might have, all right, or do you think he, all right? You can change you guys for something else, okay? Do you think you might have um, calm if I had asked? Do you think, you know, he might have been drinking? ¿Crees que él podría haber estado bebiendo? Right? So, let me, let me correct this, guys, because you can use another subject here, okay? Not only, not only... Um, are you able to use you guys, but you can use another subject, right? So you do you, right? Do you think plus, right? Plus, um, first pronoun, okay? Plus model in the past, right? Plus have, plus. Now here, guys, it's optional. You can use pen if you're gonna use, you know, a a model perfect continuous, or you can simply use have, okay? Aquí es opcional, guys. Puedes usar ben plus ing, right? Or you can use have, okay? Eso es opcional, opcional lo que vos vayas a decir, right? All right, uh, model plus have, you think you might have been, or you can see, use here, you know, past participle, okay? All right? Entonces puede usar una de las dos, puede usar pin plus ing o puede usar un past participle at the end. Okay. For example, guys, por ejemplo, okay, do you think, do you think he might have been drinking? Pensás que, pensarías o pensás que él eh, podría haber estado bebiendo? Sí. Do you think? Do you think? Now, do you think, um, let's see, um, Ricardo. Do you think your car might have been stolen? Let's see, what, what am I asking, guys? Pensas que tu carro podría haber sido robado. Yes? That's what I'm asking. Got it? All right. So, uh, Giovanni, give me another example. All right? Let's try to use do you think, guys. 
Everybody think about an answer right now. Todo mundo piensa en una respuesta, guys, because you're going to practice in a moment, okay? So, uh, Giovanni, all right? Do you think he, do you think she, do you think my wife, do you think you're my girlfriend, do you think whatever, okay? Um, do you think your boss um, do you think your boss um, where I'm going? Oh, follow uh, the structure, follow the structure, right? Do you think, think your boss? boss? Let's help him, guys. Everybody, let's help uh -huh. him. Do you think your boss? May. May, uh huh. May um, what? May. Um, going. Have. No. Do you think your guy, right, Ricardo? Let's help him. Do you think your boss <laughs> may? You seem to. Do you think you boss? Yes, he's saying, do you think you're boss? Okay, I know I'm okay. Todos trabajos, guys. Do you, do you think your boss may? Guys, let's complete this. Hey, ah, your Word. boss may gone? No, 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 no. What is the structure? Have, okay. Do you think your boss may have? What? Let's complete it. Teaching the Teach. 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 Is that the past participle, guys? Taught, guys. Okay. Do you think your boss may have taught? Uh huh. The word. The what? Dashboard. May have taught what? Uh, to make dashboard. To, to make what? Dashboards. Dashboards, okay. Uh -huh. Do you Dashboard. think your boss may have taught? May have taught who? We need a we, we need a an object here. Uh, uh, process. No. Do you think your boss may have taught everybody how to use a dashboard or to make dashboards? Is that is that what you want to say? To make dashboards? Is this what you want to say? What do you want to say here, man? All right, let's 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 change this to make pizza, okay? All right, very good. Do you think your boss may have taught everybody to make pizza? Pensás que tu gente, tu jefe, tu gente. Pensás que tu jefe le pudo haber enseñado a todo el mundo a hacer pizza. All right, see? Very good, okay? Applause for Giovanni and thank you, David, all right? Good job and thank you, Ricardo, okay? Good job, all right? All right, okay? Now, guys, I, here I see you, you're kind of confused. Okay, aquí lo veo un poco confundidos. All right, do you need more examples? Necesita más ejemplos? Okay, yes. all right, very good. Yes. All right, very good. Do, do me a favor. Todo mundo tiene escrito esto, guys, porque voy a pasarme al whiteboard. Todo mundo tiene escrito esto? Does everybody have this on your in your notebook? All right, I need to have it in your notebook, yeah. guys, okay? Right, todo mundo necesito que lo tenga en el cuaderno, right? Because you're going to use that, that structure. That structure. Okay. All right. So uh, let's bring up the whiteboard here. And uh, okay. So let's let's have another example, right? So remember, guys, the first thing that we need is a subject. Okay, right? Give me a crazy subject. Right? Think about someone. I don't know, guys. We already talked about Cheyenne, Dua Lipa. Give me another name, guys. Someone. Someone interesting. Black Widow. What? What? Black Widow. Black... I don't remember the name. Black well, do you mean Scarlett Johansson? Uh huh, Scarlett Johansson. All right. All right. So let's let's talk about Scarlett Johansson, right? So we have a subject, right? So this down here, guys. Okay, this is the subject. Okay. This is the sujeto or la sujeta. No, this is the subject. Okay. All right. Uh, good job, Ingrid. Do you think she might have finished his presentation? Now, the only thing that's wrong Ingrid, the only thing that's wrong there is you're saying. Do you think she might have finished his presentation for today? Do, don't you mean her presentation? Right? It's her presentation, not his, right? Unless she's working for someone else. All right, very good. So Scarlett Johansson, all right? What comes in the what comes next, guys, in the structure? Okay, in that right? What comes next in the structure, guys? 
the model. The okay, very good. Model. Scarlett Johansson. Do we use may? Do we use my? Can I use will, guys? Yes. No. No. All right. It's a future no, I model. Mean, if I say, guys, Scarlett Johansson will come tomorrow, yeah, of course you can use it, right? But we're not talking about the past. So you cannot use will, guys, if you're going to talk about the past, right? Can I use can? Yes. Can I use can? So I can say can have? No. 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 All right. Nel. All right. No, guys. Okay. We can't. All right. Can I? Guys, remember. Guys, the past, right? What are the models in the past, guys? What models can we use in the past? Cool. Uh, could, okay. All right. But we can use could, okay? Let's use could, right? So Scarlett Johansson could. What comes next, guys? Could have. Could have. Very good. Now, if it is third person, question for you guys. This is third person, yes? Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Now, if it is third person, do I say, ha don't I have to say has here? Has, yes. Has. No. <laughs> no. Oh, my God. No. Okay. Who can tell me why I do not change the auxiliary here, right? Why don't I change have to has? Why would that be incorrect? Who can tell me, guys? Somebody has to know. Ingrid, what do you think, Ingrid? Why am I not able to use has here? Porque no puedo usar has aquí si es la tercera persona. Why can I use? Why can I not use have there? Has there? If you know, we're talking in third person. Uh, have is part of the structure of perfect, perfect, yes. part, perfect continuous sense of models. Okay, models. The, the, okay, all right. That's an acceptable answer. But the reason why, guys, is because could is a what? It's a model, right? Yes? Yes. All yes. right. Now, so could, guys, is modifying the, the, the verb that follows, right? I told you. ¿Se recuerdan yo que les dije, guys? Un model modifica qué? A model modifies what? A verb. Bear. A verb. A verb in what form? Un verbo en qué forma? Infinitive form. Ex not, not infinitive, guys, because infinitive is when you base have form. to. Base. base, guys, okay? It needs to be in base form, okay? You can never use a model, guys, with a verb that is not in base form. Got it? All right. All right, very good, guys. So, could have, okay? So, anyways, okay? So, even if it is in third person, guys, okay, you're always going to use have and not has, okay? Also, guys, can I use could had? Could had, would that be possible? Could had? No, it has to be in. In what form? Base, base form, form, right? Very good. It has to be in base form. Okay, very good, guys. So, Scarlett Johansson could have what? Could have? Been. Could have been. Dancing in a party. Dancing, okay. At a party, okay. All right, that's good, okay. She, I, Scarlett Johansson could have been dancing at a party. All right, good job. All right, good job. That is a good example, guys, okay. Good, thank you, Ricardo. All right, uh, who wants to give another example, guys? Can we get another example? Who dares? Can se atreve? All right, let's uh, like give you an example. And I'll give you another example, okay? Dua Lipa might have been interested in visiting David Hernandez if he had passed his test with 100%. With 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 a hundred, okay, with a hundred. All right, very good, guys. So, all right, so Dua Lipa might have been interested in visiting David Hernandez if he had passed his test with one hundred, right? With with a one hundred, okay. Okay, so take a look at this, guys. Okay, now I'm using, guys. Am I using the structure? Am I still speculating? Todavía estoy especulando, yes or no? 
Yes. Also, guys, I'm using a conditional. También estoy usando una, un conditional. Okay. I'm, I'm actually using a third conditional here, guys. Okay. We're not going to learn about that, but I'm using a third conditional here. Okay. Sí. So, the Lipa pod, podría haber estado. Sí, eso podría haber estado, guys. Is the, what this is. Podría haber estado interesado en visitar a David Hernández si él hubiese pasado. Eso hubiese, sí. Si él hubiese pasado la prueba con un 100. Got it? All right, so see how interesting it is, guys, because this is a complex sentence, right? This is actually actually talked about the past, but now here, guys, I'm not talking about, I'm, I'm actually talking about the past, but I'm, it's a speculation in the past, see? ¿sí? Solo estoy especulando, right? Yes, right? Very good. All right, um, is it clear, guys, or do you need one more example? Está claro, necesitan otro ejemplo. What do you think? Example with the question. Okay, all right, I like that, okay. All right, let's talk about a question. Now, with a question, it's it's simple, because you, you actually, what do you think, all right? Now, this is how you start, right? The question, guys, is cuando usamos what do you think, do you remember? Okay, what do you think? Now, if we're not gonna talk about a person, si vos no vas a hablar de acerca de una persona, all right? You do not use you or you do not use, you know, um, an object pronoun, okay? No, that's an object pronoun here, okay? What do you think might have happened? That's how you make a question. ¿Qué pensás que pudo haber pasado? All right, or if you don't want to use what do you think, you can erase this and you can say, you know, hey, what might have happened? Now, guys, both of them are correct. However, guys, this one is, oh, this one, guys, this one right here is used, um, is just, uh, this one, guys, is the one that you have to choose. Why? Because you're asking for the opinion from someone. Cuando vos especulas es tu opinión, yes or no? Is it your opinion? Yes, right? So if it is your opinion, guys, okay, you, you actually direct the question to the person in front of you, okay? Whoever you're asking this to. So the best way of approaching this question, guys, is asking, what do you think? And then might have happened, okay? Like it might have happened, okay? All right, so what you're gonna do, guys, okay? Uh, did that answer your question, Ricardo? Yes, thank you. All right, very good. This one is a little bit easier, right? Okay, now let's say, guys, that... Uh, you know, let's say that David talked talk to Dua Lipa, and then, you know, she ignored him. What do you think might have happened? David está hablando con Dua Lipa, y ella lo ignoró. ¿Qué pensas que pudo haber pasado? Because I'm poor. <laughs> so how do you say that, okay? So, ¿cómo, cómo decís eso? How do you speculate that? How would we say that, guys? Como yo digo, como yo puedo decir, y quiero que todos piensen esto, guys, ¿ok? Como, ¿por qué habrá Dua Lipa rechazado a David? Right? Entonces, ¿quieres decirme? Eh, Dua Lipa pudo haber rechazado a David por ser pobre. Acabado. No, I, so, so, how do you say that? María, María Belén, how do you think that you say that? How would you say you say that? You, you're muted, Maria. Sorry. Um, she might. She might have. Been. Mm -hmm. Now remember, here, guys. See, see, see. If it was not a continuous action, you don't know. You don't need to use pen, okay? Si no me vas a hablar de una acción continua, no tenés por qué decirme pen, okay? Te saltas okay. directamente a as participle, okay? All right, she might have advanced. No, remember, okay? Ignore. Like, okay, she might have ignored. Okay, she might have ignored him. Very good, okay? Aquí hasta aquí estamos bien. You might have ignored him. Lo pude haber ignorado. Tell me the why. Because... Because 
Very good. Because what? She. He. Uh huh. Porque él es pobre. How do you say that? Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh my God, guys, how do I say that? <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> guys, how do I say that? He might have ignored him because. Pauperrimo. <laughs> he's what? Pauperrimo. <laughs> he's pauperrimo. <laughs> no. He's what, guys? Poor? He's poor because he is poor right very good good job Plus for my guys okay good job all right guys okay so i want you guys this is what you're gonna do okay eso es lo que van a hacer ahorita guys okay one think about a disaster in the past okay van a pensar acerca de un desastre en el pasado got it piensen guys Pu puede ser un desastre en tu vida Puede ser un desastre en El Salvador, con el presidente, I don't know, right? whatever you think, right? Now, you're going to think about a disaster in the past, okay? And then you're going to ask your partner, what do you think might have happened, okay? ¿Qué pensas que pudo haber pasado, okay? Got it? And then, then the person, all right, will answer, I think, right? I think whatever you're asking, right? Okay. So, for example, guys, I'm going to think about a disaster in the past. Okay. Let's let's have, let's talk about maybe uh, the pandemic, right? COVID-19. ¿Cómo me podría decir? Si yo te pregunto, ¿qué pensas que pudo haber pasado con eso de la pandemia? Por la causa, right? What do you think, what do you think might have happened? I can say, oh, I think... I think uh, bats might have beaten people. Pienso que los murciélagos podrían haber eh, mordido a, los, a las personas. Got it? All right. So, guíense por este ejemplo si quieren, guys. Okay? Or you can answer, you can answer in continuous form. Right? I think... Bats might have been flying too close to people and and therefore people ate them. Puede que los murciélagos eh, puede que los murciélagos hayan estado volando muy cerca de las personas y por eso se los comieron. Got it? Okay, so you can use both both structures, guys. Yes? All right, very good. So that's what you're going to do, guys, okay? Questions, guys? Questions, questions, questions before we leave? All right, let's go. What happened to the rest? Okay, let's go, guys. I'm going to send this to the WhatsApp group, okay? I don't know. What's your disaster? Mm, my disaster was um, I know. My camera. <laughs> Think about the disaster, right? Think about, I don't know, give me an opinion about the pandemic. Um, no, I think in, I, um, Prosh? What, I'm sorry? Chocar en el carro. You crashed. 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 
I crash with my crash. 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 Ah, crash. Crash. Um, I crash in my car um two years ago. Oh really? Yes. So okay, right? So you crashed your car your uh, three years ago. Okay. So so now you can ask. Okay, the question that I that I um that I sent to you guys. What do you think might have happened? Exactly. But you need to ask her that question because she's the one who's going to speculate on what happened. Okay, what do you think? Oh. I think uh, your car might have going too fast. Okay, I think your car might have been going too fast. That's how you say it. All right, see, good job, all right? So okay. keep, keep doing the same thing, okay? Good job. What your thoughts? Or I have been moving of the tectonic plaques. Nice, good vocabulary. So what are you talking about? Are you talking about earthquakes? All right. So uh, so so what was the question? Uh, what do you think uh, may have a what do you think? First you have to talk about the disaster, right? Uh-huh. So what is the disaster? Earthquake. Okay, an earthquake, okay. All right, so the question is, what do you think might have happened? Uh huh. Might Why do happened. you think that? Oh, now here you can, if you're gonna, if you don't know what you're talking about, you can say, why, why, why do you think? I mean, what do you think might have happened? Um, in regards to the earthquake. Okay. So, so what do you think? What do you think might have happened? Uh, I think the earthquake might have. Um, a, um, uh -huh. uh, produce many kills. I think the earth, the earthquake might have killed a lot of people. Uh -huh. Say it. I think the earthquake might have killed a lot of people. <laughs> the airway uh, might have might have killed, killed a lot of people. A lot of people. Uh -huh. Good job, right? All right, Maria, what do you think might have happened? You are muted, muted. by the way. <laughs> You're muted, Maria. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mal the teacher. You have mal the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, I think the aircraft might have mm -hmm. a worst disaster. The the earthquake what? Or mm, I don't know what that is. Um uh-huh, worst. Okay, I think the earthquake might have been the worst disaster yes. that I've experienced. In okay. 2000. In 2000, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, all right. That That's good. Okay, I think the earthquake might have been the worst disaster that happened in 2000. All right. That's the, okay. way you can, okay. that's the way you can say it. Yes. All right. Very good. Continue, guys. Continue. All right. What is going on, guys? Did you finish practicing? Yes. No. 
No. <laughs> <laughs> we have to go back now, okay? Okay. All right. Hey, my backpack. Hey, guys. Um, so thank you guys for staying up until the end of the class. Um, good practice, guys. Continue practicing, guys. If you are, I don't know what's your goal, guys. I don't know why you want to learn English, but whatever your goal is, if you want to learn how to talk, guys, if you want to actually learn the language, I would recommend you to take your time to practice, you know, outside of this hour. Because obviously, guys, if you practice for just a couple of minutes, I mean, that's not going to improve your fluency, okay? But if, you, if you're really focused on learning, you know, and such, then... Then, then you know just just take your time to practice all right now guys um today's we're not gonna have any more classes from this module perhaps you may see me you know in another module i have no idea guys okay all right uh but please do my favor complete the platform all right if you haven't okay you need to get at least 80 percent the sooner you finish guys the sooner we can start the next module which is you know that that's the reason why we push so much for this okay uh, for me, guys, um, it's been a pleasure, you know, teaching you. Um, ha sido un, un placer enorme, guys, estarles enseñando. Espero que hayan aprendido algo, guys. Y realmente, guys, me, me, me he divertido en esta clase. I think you're great, guys. You're very smart, too. Okay? So, thanks a lot, guys. Do you have anything, guys, that you need from me? Any help, guys? Anything that you want to com comment? Algo que quieran comentar, algo que vayan que, no sé. All good? Reclamos. <laughs> no, thank you very much. No, uh, thank for you. you. Mm -hmm. Because you 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 have uh, the patient. Patient. Uh, for passion, yes. Uh, right. For to teach. All. Thank you. No, thanks to you guys. Okay. Anyways, uh, thanks a lot, guys. And uh, I hope to see you later. Bye bye, guys. Take care. See you later. See Bye. you. Guys. Bye. See you. See ya. Bye. 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 Bye.